A woman who lives in York County has donated her wedding dress to live on forever in the National World War II Museum in New Orleans. And we talked with Deanie Keith to find out how such a personal item has come to be memorialized forever as a part of American history. It was a beautiful gown much more than I would ever have anticipated. While Deanie Keith's brother was fighting in Normandy in World War II, he sent home a German parachute made of silk. However, a wedding dress was not something her family had in mind for it. He wouldn't have taken it for a souvenir. He's not that type. He had to have realized we didn't have materials. Years pass, Deanie now engaged, the parachute finds its purpose. They make me a wedding gown. <laughs> Materials like silk were hard to come by during the war, so families like Deanie's improvised. We used to make things out of flour sacks that the bakeries had. People made lots of things out of things you'd never think about because it was a necessity. Didn't even realize it was silk when it was coming. You know, it was just a material to make a gown. And it was more than how she looked in it that meant the most to Deanie. Because it was a parachute. It wasn't the fact that it was fancy. Decades later, as Deanie and her husband Clint were moving. I picked it up and I was ready to throw it away. And my neighbor saw it. She says, Deanie, is that a wedding gown? I said, yeah, mine. She said, you're not throwing that away. You're taking that to the World War II Museum. I sent it and I got the letter back. Moments away from being lost in a landfill, the repurposed World War II German parachute now has a home in the National World War II Museum in New Orleans, Louisiana. Its uniqueness and place in history not lost on Dini. Because nobody else had one, so I kind of elevate, elevated myself. <laughs> Though not in her possession anymore, she still has memories of even its finer details. I remember all those tiny buttons my mom put on. I, I won't forget that. And Dini's story was first featured in early April in the New York Times. Now, 2020 was her first year without her husband after he passed away from health issues. She says even still, the memory of the dress gives her hope.